welcome. It's Thursday. I'm Penny Shelton, and I'm your guest vlogger. It is Andre's Revenge 100 Day Raw Food Challenge. It's day 85. So we're already 85 days into the new year, 2009. And um, I think I'm just now getting to the point where I can actually write 2009 on my checks when I am paying bills, and um, I don't put 2008 anymore. So that's big progress. I think we're getting used to being in 2009. Um, I wonder how you're doing on day 85 of the raw food challenge. One thing that I that I really wanted to kind of t touch on today was a topic that seems to me is like one of the more um, pertinent subjects that keeps coming across my computer screen. And when I'm talking to people on the phone, I do a good deal of counseling uh, either through, you know, just emailing and working with people over the internet. I do phone consultations some, um, and then I do a lot of small group uh, support type meetings. And probably one of the one of the biggest topics that comes up is uh, people like you and I are struggling with their diet. And I mean, it, it doesn't necessarily have to be the raw food diet, but I think that um, you know, there are just that, there are those certain types of personalities who just make the decision and they go 100% raw and they just like stay on that path and they don't veer off of it. And I'm always so ad, ad, admirous uh, about those people and, um, you know, there are some out there who are very driven and very focused and very, very successful at staying 100% raw. I've I have had periods of 100% raw, and I have had periods of not so 100% raw. But I do know how much better I feel when I am eating that kind of a diet. So, and so does everyone else who I've been talking with, because most people have at least tried it for a certain length of time, and then some crisis happens in their lives, or something stressful, or you know, a social event happens, and they just go crazy and eat a whole chocolate pie or who knows, you know, different things happen with different people. But um, one of the things that I really like to get into is kind of go beyond the diet because, you know, it's really, it's really not so much about the diet. Um, I think that each of us have our own personal demons that we struggle with. And I don't necessarily think they're food-related Demons. I think that they are stemming from a deeper place within ourselves where, um, I mean, this is kind of heavy stuff, but, you know, most of us haven't gotten to this point in our lives without some wounds. I mean, like things that happened when we were a child um, or adolescence, even in our adulthood, things have happened to us that's caused our self-esteem to be damaged. Um you know, some people don't have that problem, but I would say the majority of the people that I work with and that I come in contact with are walking wounded. And they may have had counseling, and they may have worked through, and they may be functioning fine. But I think that some of these wounds that haven't really been fully addressed, that we carry around with us, keep us thinking limited thoughts like, Maybe we're not worthy. Maybe we, um, maybe we just don't have enough self-love to look after ourselves. And I know that's true with so many. I see so many moms out there who are so intensely taking care of their husbands and their children, or maybe a parent. Um, you know, and I've been in that same situation where I'm so focused on taking care of everyone else around me and making sure all their needs get met that I'm the one that's ending up empty at the end of the day. I haven't taken any time for myself because, you know, I feel like, oh, that's too selfish. I, I need to look at. But, you know, we, we've all heard all of this stuff before, but I think that uh, this, the wounded self-esteem that we may be covering it over and the world may never have any idea that we've had these kinds of challenges that we deal with, and we may have done a great job of covering up even to our own selves, so we don't even want to think about it. But what I want to encourage you today is to look at the different areas in your life, emotionally, spiritually, physically, and 
relationally. What's going on in those four areas of your life? And I would like write each down. Emotional, physical, um, spiritual, and relational. I would write those four things on a piece of paper and take this next week and begin to get really honest with yourself. You know, where are you? Maybe like on a scale of 1 to 10. Uh, one being not good at all, ten being you're doing great in that area of your life. And be really honest with yourself because if you aren't honest with yourself, you know, it's it's a worthless situation. I mean, you've got to get really honest with yourself. So, you know, if you're doing a 100% raw diet and you're just acing every single thing and you're eating a perfect, you know, you've got it all mapped out, yet you, your relationships in your life are in turmoil and they totally suck and you're just miserable relationally or maybe you know you're angry at God spiritually you are just totally turned off shut down my whole point is is that if you're out of balance really obviously way out of balance like if you've got you know eight nine ten two then that whatever that part of your life is that's that far out of balance I would suggest that you spend some time working on what's going on there what needs what needs to be tweaked? What needs to be changed? Do you need to go talk to somebody you can trust about, you know, positive things that you can do? Because really, if you're really out of balance in one of those areas of your life, I have found what happens with so many people is they can manifest illness, mental illness, physical illness, um, pain in their body. Like if you're in a miserable relationship and you're so unhappy and someone's trying to control you or Whatever the case may be, you may be eating a perfect diet, but you may not feel good. You may be totally drained of energy. So we'll talk more about this next week because I really do think that if you're struggling with your diet or other aspects of your life, it's time to get honest and let's look at what we can really do for ourselves and for our friends around us who are struggling and how can we lift each other up and help support it and not beat anybody up about how dare you, you shouldn't have eaten that piece of pizza yesterday. It's like, well, you know what, let's get let's get first things first, okay? I'd love to hear how you're doing. I'd love to hear, um, I'd, I'd love for you to expound on those things that I've brought up today. I'd like to hear what your opinions are. Um, I wish you were here with me and we could have a discussion, but since I'm just coming to you and talking to you, go ahead and share in the comment section what your thoughts are on this because it, it'll help you and it'll help somebody else. So it's great being with you on Thursdays. Bunny, thank you so much for asking me to be a guest video blogger and remember.